Hey everybody, it's funny, and uh, I should have said, good morning banana peppers, that's what I should have said, but I'm so excited to be sitting here, filming in this little area, actually using the sun, I can't even look at myself with these glasses. <laughs> I'm like Casey Neistat lately with all the sunglasses and 0% of the uh, talent, but I, aren't these funny too? I can't, I can't get over it. I feel like I'm that girl from that vine, you know, with the hair, and then she's like, eh, it's kind of like those style right uh today <clears throat> we're just gonna chit chat have a little bit of a tea vlog take a trip down memory lane talk about some stuff i don't know if i'm in the mood to do an unboxing today although we do have a fresh bunch of subscription crates that just came in i feel like i'm gonna do japan crate this month on graveyard girl because i feel like uh you guys like a lot of snack taste taste testing videos over there um but we also today got the kira kira crate which i feel like you guys enjoyed seeing last month that was the um <coughs> japanese beauty crates but i don't know i just kind of feel like rambling talking to you guys hanging out having a friendly morning chat uh what i was trying to say is i'm so excited to like sit here and film today i never ever get to sit and film in this space and it's ludicrous because I literally just always envisioned that this is exactly where I would film all of my videos um but I don't really know how to set up lights in this little space I don't know if you guys remember this area from the room tour but this is like literally just a little cubby of space right here so it's definitely not big enough where I could set up I hope I don't have cereal in my teeth if I do just disregard it um but there's not really enough space with the shelves which are built in on the wall and it's like just a small I mean like literally it's like if I put my arms all the way out I touch both shelves so I really can only film in this space when there is natural light and you guys know like the last year uh me and natural light just we haven't really been getting along um so I don't know it's exciting to like finally be filming here where I like envisioned I would always be filming I think I've only done a couple of videos here. I know one was when Guy came to visit to do my hair because I was actually like up during the day to hang out with him and get my hair done. Um, and I don't remember, I think there was like some other random videos where I was like really trying to pre-film vigorously before I went out to uh, Disney World for a trip last year, but I don't remember when. I don't remember what I was doing. Last year was a blur, which I'm attempting to forget progressively. Last year was like literally one of the worst years. I just say that over and over again, but I just never really like go deeper than that. So I'm sure that's very frustrating to a lot of you guys. I'm just now noticing somebody at Starbucks wrote Queen on my cup, which is hilarious. Um, Oh, you guys, this one is a little, uh, it's a little crunchy, which is not a way I should be describing tea. It's not the freshest. I actually picked this up yesterday, and once again, just, pff, I'm on this, like, whole other trip now where I, today I woke up at five in the morning, so I've been up, it's now, like, nine. I'm waiting for Sephora to open because I'm excited. I'm hoping it's either gonna be tomorrow, which would be Friday, or Saturday, if it takes me a bit to edit, because I am totally rusty. I don't remember the last time it was that I did, like, a makeup tutorial or, like, a full-on, like, full-face makeup video. It's been a long time. I, what was I thinking? Um... So that's, that's, I don't know, that's kind of what I'm doing. I've been on this path where like yesterday I woke up at like one in the morning and just started my day there. Uh, today I woke up at five in the morning, so I'm starting my day from that point. And I don't know, we'll see how long it goes before I wipe out. But right now I thought I would hang out and talk to you guys before the mall opens. Now I'm like one of those people where I'm like, why don't places open up earlier? And I've always been one of those people where I'm just like, why don't places stay open later? And I still kind of am just on like the both ends of that dichotomy. I want both earlier and later. I wish that everywhere was 24 hours like Walmart, which sounds terrible. But also wouldn't that just create like a bundle of more jobs? Um, I really, I don't know anything about any of that. So I don't know if that would be good or bad, but I think it would be good. So convenient. Um, also you guys today, I am considering 
getting a membership to Sam's Club. I don't know why that's like an announcement. Um, but I remember going to Sam's Club when I was younger and I used to think it was like the most magical place. I've never had a membership to Sam's Club. Never in my life. I don't know why all of a sudden I started thinking, I guess because I mentioned Walmart. Anyway, let's look at some stuff and I'm also going to ask you guys advice on a couple of things. Because <clears throat> there's a couple things I've been thinking of and I would like for you guys to weigh in. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, first of all, I want to share this shirt with you guys. Oh my gosh, I should have saved this for another, like, bang, my Etsy wish list. I thought about doing one of those videos, but where everything that I buy from my Etsy wish list is, like, $20 or less. I think that that maybe would be a fun one. Um, I should have saved this for that. But, you guys, I am so excited that this shirt that I got, I had this shirt when I was a kid because this is the first year, I think, that I ever went to Disney World and it was in 1997 and they decorated the castle like a big cake. How magical is that? I wish they still did stuff like that. Um, and then on the back, it just has the castle, how it looks. I don't know why it says then because that's literally like how it's always looked. So it said um, then 1971 and this was for their 25th Walt Disney World celebration year of opening oh what am i trying to say um but I, I don't know why they were like then because it's just like every year subsequent i don't know if they've ever done another like super special castle decorating thing i know that they decorate it for christmas time but i've never been there during christmas time and now a lot of the time which i do think is really cool they project somehow onto the castle like they basically use the castle as a 3d um projector screen i guess you could say it's like if you guys watch if you guys remember um during vlogoween last year when i did that oh my gosh what uh what was that special effects thing called where i had like that blow up mannequin so that you could project a figure onto it and it would look like a 3d like witch or whatever they basically like use that technology but on the castle um but they'll project like movie scenes or like sometimes like little like moving like for whatever reason i remember like the wreck it ralph and it'll look like tears of like a video game where they're chasing each other. nothing i'm saying is making any sense right now if they're still doing that when i'm there um i will film some clips and then i'll like go back and be like remember the time i was rambling in that vlog and nothing i said made any sense here you go um but i don't think that they've ever done another this was so cool i wish i could show it to you guys like do you guys wish that we could just tap into our memories and just project anything that we're thinking of I don't know I wish I could do that for like multiple things I wish I could like actually remember more clearly vast sections of my life um just in more deep like more vivid detail like I'm not trying to be like I have vast memory loss but just like I don't know like sometimes it's all a blur like what would it be if I could go back and like visit day by day life in junior high <laughs> does anybody else want to do that I don't know I think it would be a lot of fun but I wish we could do that and then I could show you guys exactly what I mean. Because I think a while ago I had looked up pictures to try and talk about this or show this to you guys. And I didn't really see any pictures. Like it just didn't exist. Like pre-Instagram, right? Pre-digital photography. Um, well, did we have... We probably did have digital cameras in 1997. I'm really being dramatic. I don't know when that kind of like took the world by storm though, you know? Like I feel like... I mean, there was a point in time in my life when, like, VCR was, like, a really expensive, like, piece of equipment. Like, not everyone had one, you know? Uh, and I kind of feel like it was that way with digital camera. I mean, I feel like technology now comes out so fast and then is, like, cheapened so quickly. Do you know what I'm saying? That, like, literally it's like, okay, like, there's a cell phone and now, like, everyone obviously has one. Um, and I, I don't know, I kind of felt like... It was like it took a lot a lot longer back then like I feel like it was like a digital camera and then it took like two years five years I don't know I'm being dramatic I'm being dramatic I mean I remember like even through like all of high school I think into some college like I was still mostly shooting with a film camera I feel like it's not been that many years since like Walgreens and everywhere else you like went in and they were 
like exposing film and like doing like a photo lab i miss those days you guys i had a friend she was such a good friend of mine um and we she worked in the photo lab at walgreens can you imagine there was a time in my life when i like just hung out at walgreens but i feel like i would just go in the door right to the photo developing center and then like literally like not move from there um but sometimes like she would even let me like develop my own film it was so cool i don't know it was so much fun and now it just like blows my mind to think that they don't even like no one even does that i think my mom asked me the other day which is why i started thinking about this because she's like where do you even go to get like film developed anymore i'm like i don't know you probably have to like mail it off or something or we have like i don't know we have a place called like houston camera exchange which is like a really big like professional photography store and they might have photo developing but i don't know on a whole i don't know i don't know where you do that now i feel like i've rambled so much oh okay i remember one third of the amount of questions that i wanted to ask you guys so i'll ask that now since it kind of pertains to disney which is loosely what we were just talking about um but i thought for this channel would you guys want me to do like little micro vlogs where maybe I like show you guys like in depth like parts like my favorite parts of Disney like I don't know I was just thinking like one of my favorite things to do at Disney is to go to the Japan section of Epcot there's like a world showcase is what they call it and there's lots of different countries represented in there uh but my favorite one far and away to go into is Japan and I was like oh like can I film a little vlog of like going in there I think we did the world showcase once on graveyard girl and I know that I did a tour once of the pop century a million years ago so I've done some little stuff like that before but would you guys be interested in that kind of stuff um because then I thought like oh when I make like my Disney videos then I can just like reference those other videos but I don't know it might be like a lot it might be too much um so I don't know, just weigh in, weigh in on that. Um, so the other question that I wanted to ask you guys, and I know I've been like talking about these forever, but it was so crazy. Like, do you ever just like learn something about yourself that you never pieced together or that you, I don't know, I guess forgot? Because one of the craziest things that I started doing today, you guys, and today is a freaking clean up day. Today is a day for cleaning. Um, but we finally started, I know how insane this is going to sound, but uh, so whew, last year, I talk about it a lot and I'm so terrified because I just saw this thing trending on Twitter where they said the hurricanes this year might just be like out of control bad again and I am not ready for that. So you know last year we had Hurricane Harvey and I had some storage unit. Anyway, um, what was I saying? My camera just cut me off as it always does. Anyway, so I know that I had briefly told you guys like oh we had storage units, Hurricane Harvey, whatever, a lot of our stuff totally ruined totally damaged gone forever uh but some of it was salvageable because some of it we did have like higher up off the ground or um in like thicker like tupperware buckets whatever um and and either way like everything just had to immediately be yanked out because i think i talked to you guys about this before but like the storage place which this place is like just so dodgy honestly like that's why i would never get like one of these like storage unit things again because they basically like ramped it up and they were like okay like you just have to get all your stuff out like immediately wouldn't let us in there at first for like a week and then was like okay you got to get all your stuff out like immediately like this whole place is closing down like blah 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 we're gonna redo it like we didn't know what was going on right uh, we expected them to be out of business though because that was like what they were implying is like they were gonna be out of business for months and months and months which is believable because depressingly enough if you can even imagine like so many people in our town still have not been able to move back in their houses like everywhere you just see like stuff torn out everywhere still um people like living in trailer rv type things in front of their houses like it's just madness it's so crazy um <coughs> so <coughs> totally believable that this place would just be like <coughs> shut down completely for renovations yada 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 and so we were dealing 
with so much stuff at this time right like right after the hurricane just not a good time um and so we had just basically like picked up everything and uh shoved it in my parents garage and so we're just now getting to the point where we're actually like opening up these storage bins that like none of us have looked in in a in a hot minute whatever survived whatever is salvageable and you guys i found these old notebooks like if there was anything that was going to survive that was mine i'm so glad it's these like did you guys ever have these like oh and this is like it's an ancient art you guys it's an ancient art because now i'm sure people just text or snap each other but like back in that day when we walk to school uphill both ways in a snowstorm we had notebooks and we would just write notes to each other all during class because why study and learn when you can just write meaningless stuff down on paper uh and so we would have these notebooks teachers would think we were like taking notes and we were just actually writing notes back and forth to each other and so that's what these are and i cannot believe they survived and I also can't believe how embarrassing I was back in the day but I think this is my favorite one because um my friend and I used to always battle because I was obsessed with Johnny Depp and she was obsessed with so many people Mike Myers like who ever has a crush on Mike Myers I still don't understand that it's been 500 years I still don't understand it maybe somebody out there understands it um Owen Wilson and Trent Reznor Trent Reznor um so I don't know that one was just so much fun we had this one for a really long time and then we had this one which we tore so many pages out of I don't know what kind of stuff we were watching reading writing I don't know what we were writing that we just tore to shreds so that no evidence um and then I had all these folders that I would decorate with like my favorite actors on so crazy <laughs> um but I don't know I wish I could like show you guys some of the pages on the inside but um I don't want to like oh my god I found so much cool stuff okay coming all the way back around to like when you learn something about yourself that you didn't know or you didn't remember I had do you guys know how I've been telling you guys like oh like I have my hoarder notebooks like where I basically like scrapbook with trash like things from PR mail or things from like packaging I like or like tickets or this or that or the other and I like staple it all down in a planner I didn't know I've been doing this forever because I found this like thick binder that was just full of trash like I have my friends like progress reports that they were supposed to take home and get signed because they were like failing tests or whatever and I would just like protect my friends and hide their progress reports so that they wouldn't get in trouble so many so many things don't do don't do anything I say um and just like I don't know just projects I was working on or like speeches that I gave for debate and forensics or like random notes and letters that I was like writing to people and getting from people and like little pieces of Sanrio stationery that I collected I wish I could share this with you but it's like the same problem as these like I really don't want to just like put people's name out there because literally I have no friends from high school except for Chris and Karen I think you guys I know you guys have seen Chris a hot a hot ton <laughs> That's not what I was trying to say. Uh, and Karen, you've seen a couple of times if you've been here for a long time. Um, but that's it. I like literally do not talk to anybody else. And so I kind of don't want to put anybody else's picture on blast or anything like that. Um, but I wish, I don't know, I wish I could share it with you guys. And I found this phone. Oh my gosh. I honestly wish that I could still... Um, pull it up like charge it I might try and buy like a charger I literally do not know if it would even turn on but I'm kind of curious I wonder if I can buy a charger for it on Amazon I don't know um but this phone oh my gosh and I'm kind of sad I was having a brain fart for a minute but I saw last year that the that Nokia was like remaking this phone it doesn't look exact which is kind of sad to me um but they came out with it but it's in the UK only you can't even get service here on it on the states because I had this idea where I wanted to try and use a phone from the 90s for a week and just like not have an iPhone and see see how I feel about it 
But I don't know, I'm hopeful that one day they will release some of the new Nokia phones that can like can have service in the states that's what I'm trying to say Ugh. I don't know I did so much research about this last summer because I was literally like can I just get one of these and put service on it but quite apparently you can't because I think it's only supported by like 2g or 3g or something that literally like all service providers were just like nope no more of that I think 4g is like as slow as you can have it these days I don't know but I can't use it and it makes me sad uh but i still just have it i don't and i found a palm pilot uh because i had one of those phones too and oh my gosh i don't even know how that was like the popular phone at one point because it looks like so businessy and boring i guess it was just like one of the first ones i remember like having the little stylus was such a big deal um and uh, palm pilots were like a big deal what happened to that company did they just like ignite in a fiery inferno um but i do i do remember like palm pilot was like such a big thing um <clears throat> it would be really fun to turn on that camera because it has um a camera on it and um so anyway that was my other question was i have my first my first recent hoarder notebook ah uh, i these things look so aesthetically pleasing to me for some reason just a big pile of garbage i love it but i kind of don't know how to share this with you guys like do you think it would be good to do like a flip through video like i see a lot of people do that for um wreck this journals that are completed or like art journals or whatever like this is comparable to an art journal um or do you guys think i should just do like a flip through and like just talk about the various stuff and show the pages some things i kind of don't know what i'm gonna do about them because i feel like it has a lot of um like emails for like company people and whatever and i don't know maybe i can just like put a piece of paper over it maybe this one has less of that than the one i'm doing now actually um <clears throat> so i don't know i have this one and then i have a really weird one that i did for last year because the first half of the year was just so bad i just didn't i just threw everything away uh but i think like from august through december i have these little micro moleskine journals i did a moleskine one last year because it was actually like a 12 year calendar but you got an e you got a small little book for each month to do which was pretty cool but the only problem i had was they were like they were like really a lot smaller i'm really happy happy with the one I'm doing this year because it's like a full size like eight and a half by eleven um thing so it's definitely the easiest one I've done in a long time because I can put like full size sheets of paper and stuff in there and not worry about it so I don't know let me know about that down below I'm trying to figure out what the other question was I feel oh my gosh okay whoever made it this far congratulations because i feel like this is the really important question so for a long time i have had this idea where i want to do like swamp family merch banana peppers merch but instead of just like me coming up with designs or like having just like one person do the artwork i kind of wanted to do and i don't know how i would like go about doing it because i don't know if it could be like a contest i don't know if i'd have to set up an instagram for it or what but i wonder how i could have like swamp fam like submit art and then i don't know like i don't know like do we do like a thousand bucks for a drawing or something like i don't know what to do just help me brainstorm about that down below because i think that that would be a lot of fun and it would be like just kind of a way to like showcase our own community but i don't know i don't it might be a bad idea like does that also not sound like a good idea let me know that's kind of my last thought and I think we are almost out of memory on this memory card because I remember when I started we only had 25 minutes and this segment is 11 minutes so wish me luck on all my projects today you guys I put up on the community tab on graveyard girl if you want to swing over there and weigh in some more opinions but I'm trying to decide if this next makeup video if I do it a voiceover or like talking as I go along I don't know what I used to do I feel like back in the old days I used to do a voiceover and then I started doing just I think the only makeup kind of videos I did last year was like full face of first impressions like kind of talking through stuff like that um 
And so I think at that point I was like talking through because it was like first impressions, right? Um, but for just like a straight makeup tutorial or like video or whatever, I don't remember what I liked doing best and I don't remember what you guys like best. So I don't know, if you wanna go way in there, why am I so scatterbrained today? Do you guys feel like I'm a little bit more like pausey than usual? But maybe I said um less. I don't know. Oh my gosh, that was the one thing about reading these notes, you guys. I think I've gotten stupider by reading less literature. I feel like when I was this age, I was like heavily into like Alexander Dumas for sure. And I really tried to go for that like eloquent um, kind of talking, which just really made me sound like very goofy. But also um, more, I don't know. I don't want to say more intelligent because I posted one page out of there that I wrote uh, last night on Snapchat and it was so cringy. It was so cringy. I'm like embarrassed for myself a million years ago. But still, I was like, oh my God, like I sounded like I'm ready for, I don't know. I'm ready for a much more formal and eloquent society. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope you all have an awesome day. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery, and I will hopefully, guys, hopefully guys see you tomorrow. Whatever that means. But I feel like we've been doing really good here. It's been a lot of fun uploading every day, and I feel like it's encouraging me to maybe just upload every day on Graveyard Girl and just do more stuff like this over there. There is no reason that I can't do that just my mind. I love you guys. I'm getting the red warning now. I love you guys. Bye.